Welcome sa zip9.com In this video, tutuloy natin yung ating series about uh, direct and inverse proportions no? and uh, kung napanood nyo yung previous video ay diniscuss natin kung paano ba isolve itong uh, problem na ito no? yung uh, the distance from city A to city B is 120 kilometers Carlo drives from city A to city B at an average time of 3 hours if he wants to reach uh, city B in 2 hours what should be his average uh, driving speed. No? So, kung gusto nyo makita ko paano isolve yan, ay pwede nyo uh, uh, panoorin nyo yung previous video. No? And, ang solution pala sa previous video ay gumamit tayo ng uh, inverse proportion but of course, uh, pwede lang yung simpleng distance rate time lang. No? Kasi ito, uh, sa unang pares, yung 120 kilometers in 3 hours, then obviously, the the rate is 40 kilometers per hour. No? So, ano mangyayari pag 2 hours naman, di ba? 120 kilometers in 2 hours, 60 kilometers per hour naman yung kanyang uh, speed dapat. I think it's very obvious, no? Uh, ginamit lang natin yung uh, context na yan, o yung problem na yan, to display the, the or to illustrate uh, inverse proportions, no? Well, gusto kong tignan uh, pa ito ulit, no? And notice that... Uh, Kung time, yung relationship ng time tsaka speed, no? Uh, in, in, by the way, in other books, yung SR yan, no? B equals RT, ang tawag nila rate. But here, uh, tinatawag natin siya na speed. Pero in this context, interchangeable pwedeng R, pwedeng S, no? So, depende sa inyo. Now, uh, another thing na gusto ko malaman dito or gusto ko malaman nyo dito or gusto ko kung mapansin nyo is that the distance, of course, is 120 kilometers constant pian no? Kasi hindi naman nagbabago yung distance kahit gaano speed mo. Ang mabago lang yun yung speed mo tsaka yung time, no? Siyempre, pag mas mabilis ka, mas maiksing time, ang makakover mo, no? Uh, from, uh, to travel 120 kilometers, no? Uh, mas maiksing time, mas mabilis, mas mabagal, mas mahabang time, no? And here, uh, the relationship is that the product of the rate and time is always the distance, which is 120. So, anong i-multiply mo six, sa 6 para maging 120? This is um, 20, di ba? And then, 5 times something is 120. I think this is 24. 4 times something is 120. This is 30. 3 times something is 120. This is 40. 2 times something, I think ito yung nasa problem kanya. 2 times something is 120. This is 60. And... Uh, 1 times something is 120. So, this is 120. Ito yung speed, no? Uh, of course, in reality, sa totoong buhay, hindi naman siya tayo mag-120. Buhay, buhay itong speed na to, no? Pag tayo nag-drive ng kotse. Now, um... So, ano napapansin nyo, no? Uh, anong relationship ng dalawang uh, quantities na yan, no? This is uh, T and S. So, T S, mapansin nyo na T S is equal to 120. No? So, may constant tayo. Now, uh, gusto kong pansin ninyo yung sa previous problem natin. No? Doon sa introduction problem natin na uh, ito. No? Investigate. Uh, so, kalang balikan natin ito ng konti. No? And, kung mapapansin nyo, Meron na tayo equation dyan, di ba? Um, now, let's adjust this a bit. So, ang TS equals 120. Dito na natin So, what's the relationship between the length of the base of the height of a triangle? Sorry, sorry. The base and the height of a rectangle with a fixed area of 24 centimeters. So, base time side, diba? So, 24. 1 times 24. Uh, 2 times... Dapat 24 din, ba? 12. 3 times something is 24. This is 8. 4 times 6 is 24. This is 4. 6 times 4 is 24. 8 times 3 is 24. 12 times 2 is 24. 24 times 1 is 24. Sabi natin, ito ay, ano, no? Ito ay uh, inverse proportion kasi uh, pag nag-times tayo ng 2 dito, no? Pag nag-times tayo ng 2 dito, magta-times tayo ng reciprocal ng 2 dito. This is times 1 half. No? 
uh, we can pick any two numbers no doon sa uh, related quantities na inversely proportional and pag may nagmultiply tayo ng number no from uh, one pair of number doon sa isang quantity no so time for example time 3 times 3 times something equals 12 this is times 4 diba 3 times 4 so dapat 1 fourth yan dito 8 times 1 fourth so kung hindi yan hindi siya nagaganito yung yung result niya is not 8 times 1 fourth then those uh, these two quantities are not uh, inversely proportional no so yan yung uh, kanyang uh, characteristics and here the base times the height is always 24 so bh is equal to 24 ano napapansin nyo pag uh, meron kang dalawang quantities tapos ang product nila consistent or constant no so pag minago mo to pag nilakihan mo to liliit to no so pag product nila ay constant ang tawag dyan ay inverse proportion no so Mag-generalize tayo, no? Okay. So, when two quantities, x and y, no? when two quantities, x and y, oh, when there are two quantities, there are quantities x and y and y is directly no? directly no 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 not not that directly but inversely inversely proportional to x okay okay the relationship relationship can be represented as x y x times y no equals constant number constant number so here for example ang constant number natin is 120 at yung Kanina, yung uh, ating BH equals 24 ba yun? BH equals 24 dun sa rectangle natin. Then, the constant number is 24 there. The base and the height, no? Yung constant number na product nila ay 24 then uh, If you multiply two numbers and the product is always constant, then these two numbers, no? Or these two quantities in this case is proportional, is inversely, or are inversely proportional to each other. No? So, are uh, inversely proportional. Okay? So, yun ang isang karakteristik ng, ng uh, inverse proportion. Kung mapapansin nyo, no? kung, kung naalala nyo yung ating lecture doon sa uh, uh, previous videos natin, makikita nyo that uh, meron tayong direct proportion. And sa direct proportion, iba naman yung kanyang uh, uh, relationship, no? Yung uh, ang sa relationship naman ng direct proportion. This is inverse, no? This is uh, inverse proportion. Sa direct proportion naman, no? Maybe we should change this. Direct proportion. Kung napanood nyo. Ang relationship naman ng x and y, no? If y is uh, directly directly proportional to x, no? Then, no? y equals constant number number times x, no? Times x. Okay? So, nakikita nyo yung kakaiba? Y equals constant number times x sa direct proportion. However, sa inverse proportion, 
xy equals a constant number. So xy equals 5, xy equals 1. And then this one is y equals uh, bx, y equals 2x, y equals 3x. This is actually a, a linear uh, function. No? Okay, so yan na lang muna no? uh, sa ating uh, tutorial. And uh, kung kayo ay may panahon, baka type yung pista nyo ating website, yung uh, sit9.com. Uh, kung saan nandyan yung ating mga videos na no? ina-update ko from time to time. And syempre, kung kayo ay nasa YouTube, uh, mas maganda rin na mag-subscribe kayo sa channel namin. No? You, you subscribe to Simna para may inform kayo pag mayroon, pag mayroon tayong bagong videos. Now, uh, kung type nyo yung video na yan, pwede nyo i-like no? o i-thumbs up. No? Dahil yan ay uh, mas lalong makikilala yung Simna yan. No? At tulong nyo na rin yan. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.